One day, I'll get up from there. Everyone knows you're gone. On another adventure, are we? Sometimes you could buy the right Hey, it's me, Garrett. You have a moment. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted, and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He and my mother Raise me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my. That is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, 
we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Revelio. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework, get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. This looks like the right statue. Now... What was the password? Descendium! Goodness! Who knew this was all down here? A lift? Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. That seems to have done the trick. This castle will never cease to surprise me. this.
That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. Confringo! It looks a bit broken. Perhaps I can try. Let me answer. way of that platform. Something smells sweet. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. dried billywigs things. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.
Hello again. Were you able Hello, to... Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Getting them was more work than I expected. I'd like to be paid for my time. Of course. Didn't think it would be that much trouble, but I'm happy to pay for your help. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Time to go a little quicker. No need to race now, my friend. Again, wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. Might be a bit dangerous for a broom trial. I'll see what I can do. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Perhaps I could test out my new upgrade on the way.
has some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe.
Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Up for a bit of dying, are we? Can bring her. Oh. Oh. Can bring her. ruling over wizards will be fulfilled. on Ranrock's hands.
Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Come bring us! Take us! <laughs> 